Imagine a world where the US dollar isn't the king of global finance anymore. It might sound far-fetched, but this reality is closer than you think. Right now, BRICS, an alliance of five major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is making serious moves to disrupt the global financial system that has been dominated by the West for decades. They're not only expanding their influence, but also building a new intrabank payment system designed to allow direct transactions between nations without needing the US dollar. This is huge, and if you think this is just talk, think again. In recent months, countries across Asia, Africa, and South America have shown massive interest in joining BRICS, signaling a real hunger for change. Why? Because the current system, controlled by Western giants like the IMF and the World Bank, ties them to the dollar and its economic ups and downs. Now, with BRICS leading the charge for a new financial order, the game might finally change. Imagine a system where countries can trade freely in their own currencies without worrying about US sanctions or the dollar's fluctuations. Russia and Iran, for instance, are already processing transactions in their own currencies, bypassing the SWIFT network and sidestepping Western restrictions altogether. So why does this matter to you? The answer is simple. We're seeing the start of what could be a global power shift. The new BRICS intrabank system might not just change the financial landscape for governments, but could also impact currency values, global trade, and even the prices we pay at the store. And with giants like Saudi Arabia and the UAE joining BRICS, the group's influence over global resources, oil, and rare minerals could make it a powerhouse rivaling the Western-led G7. In this video, we'll break down these groundbreaking developments in simple, clear terms. We'll look at the economic partnerships that BRICS is forming, the ripple effects of their recent expansion, and what the future holds for the US dollar. Is the dollar's dominance on shaky ground? How far will BRICS go to secure its place in a new, multipolar world? Get ready for an eye-opening journey into the new financial world order unfolding before us. But before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. We keep you up to date with the latest in global economic trends, and there's so much more ahead that you won't want to miss. BRICS, an alliance initially formed by Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, has been making waves on the global stage. What started as a cooperative block of five has now transformed into a movement that many nations worldwide are keen to join. As of August 2024, BRICS has garnered substantial interest, with 40 to 47 countries from diverse regions such as Africa, Asia, and South America eager to join its ranks. The underlying reason is clear. BRICS offers an appealing alternative to the traditional Western economic order. For decades, Global finance has been heavily influenced by Western institutions like the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank. These organizations have long set the tone for international lending, aid, and trade, often placing the US dollar at the center of the financial system. Yet this dependency on the dollar comes with its risks especially for countries that want to shield themselves from economic turmoil in the United States. For these nations, joining BRICS could provide a way to diversify their economic partnerships and reduce reliance on a single currency that may not always align with their interests. With so many countries looking to align with BRICS, it's worth exploring what makes this block so appealing and how it plans to reshape global finance, trade, and diplomacy. One of the standout features of BRICS growth has been its focus on creating financial systems that operate outside of Western influence. A key example of this is the BRICS New Development Bank, NDB. The NDB, often referred to as the BRICS Bank, was established to support infrastructure projects and sustainable development across member countries. 
Since its founding, the bank has approved 98 projects with a total value of $33 billion. This move is groundbreaking because it provides an alternative to the IMF and World Bank, which often come with stringent loan conditions that can heavily impact borrowing countries. Instead, BRICS has set out to offer financial support without the usual restrictions, providing a friendlier, less demanding option for countries that seek investment without overbearing conditions. Beyond the NDB, BRICS is also pushing forward with other innovative financial initiatives, including an intrabank payment system. This system aims to reduce the reliance on the dollar in cross-border transactions, a critical step toward what's known as de-dollarization. This term has become a hot topic among nations looking to reduce their dependency on the dollar for international trade and payments. By developing an internal payment system, BRICS members can transact more freely, fostering independence from Western financial institutions and enhancing economic security. Perhaps one of the most significant examples of BRICS shift toward financial independence is the recent collaboration between Russia and Iran. In a historic move, these two countries linked their national payment systems, Russia's system, for transfer of financial messages, SPFS, and Iran's central bank payment and messaging system, CPAM. This connection allows both countries to bypass the US dollar and the SWIFT network, conducting transactions directly in their own national currencies, the ruble and rial. This isn't just a technical change, it's a bold step toward building economic independence and resilience. For Russia and Iran, this partnership has proven to be incredibly beneficial. In fact, more than 60% of trade between the two countries is now conducted in their national currencies. Bilateral trade has surged by 15%, reaching $4.6 billion over the past year, a testament to how much both economies have benefited from this shift. Looking ahead, Russia and Iran aim to double this trade volume to an impressive $8 billion annually. Additionally, both nations have made their bank cards mutually acceptable, allowing citizens and businesses to transact more easily between the two countries. This growing partnership is not just an isolated initiative, it's part of a broader strategy within BRICS to foster financial systems that provide stability and autonomy for member states. With this model, BRICS is setting an example for other nations that might be looking for ways to bypass sanctions or lessen their dependence on Western financial systems. This shift toward financial independence has not gone unnoticed, and it's no surprise that several countries are eager to join BRICS. Iran recently formalized its interest by submitting an application to join the bloc. The timing of this decision is significant, coming shortly after a visit from Russian President Vladimir Putin in August 2024. During this visit, the two leaders likely discussed Iran's strategic and economic benefits of joining BRICS. Iran's interest has also inspired neighboring Azerbaijan, which has been showing increased interest in expanding its global partnerships. Azerbaijan's foreign ministry confirmed its aspirations during the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, summit in July 2024, where the country signed a strategic partnership declaration with China. The agreement signaled Azerbaijan's intent to align itself more closely with BRICS, following the path set by Iran. Southeast Asia, too, is showing a strong interest in BRICS, with Malaysia recently submitting an official application. Malaysia's Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim highlighted the economic appeal of BRICS, noting that its members collectively represent over 2 billion people and have a GDP larger than the ASEAN countries combined. China has also publicly supported Malaysia's bid to join, with Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian emphasizing that BRICS expansion is not only welcome, but essential to creating a fairer, more balanced global system. Malaysia isn't alone.
Thailand has also expressed intent to join BRICS, with its cabinet approving the application to strengthen its economy and diversify its international partnerships. Thailand's Foreign Minister, Maris Sangyampongsa, pointed out that joining BRICS would help Thailand achieve its long-standing goal of engaging in South-South cooperation. Vietnam has similarly emerged as a potential candidate for BRICS membership, though no formal application has been submitted yet. Turkey, another potential candidate, has been actively pursuing closer ties with BRICS. Turkish Foreign Minister Haykan Fidan expressed Turkey's interest in joining the bloc during a visit to China in June 2024, marking the highest level interaction between Turkey and a BRICS nation in over a decade. Turkey's interest in BRICS reflects its broader strategy of diversifying its economic and diplomatic options, especially given its stalled EU accession negotiations and strained NATO relationships. In addition to expanding its membership, BRICS has made significant strides in the global energy market by welcoming major oil-producing nations such as Saudi Arabia and the UAE. With these additions, BRICS now controls 43.1% of global oil production, nearly double its previous share of 20.4%. This growth positions BRICS as a formidable force in global energy markets and signals its ability to influence oil and gas policies worldwide. The inclusion of major fossil fuel producers also plays into BRICS' strategy to push for de-dollarization. These countries are exploring alternative currencies for energy transactions, a move that could challenge the long-standing dominance of the US dollar in oil trading. This transition is significant because the dollar's central role in the energy market has historically provided the United States with a unique advantage in global finance. With the expansion of BRICS and its member countries' resources, there's a real possibility of a shift in how energy is traded internationally. Beyond energy, BRICS has also gained significant influence over mineral resources, particularly in rare earth elements that are critical to many high-tech industries. With its expanded membership, BRICS now holds control over 72% of global rare earth production. These materials, essential for producing everything from smartphones to electric cars, make BRICS a vital player in the global supply chain. This resource advantage has the potential to reshape global trade and industry strategies, especially since countries like China and Russia have previously imposed restrictions on exports of key materials to achieve their strategic goals. Another compelling factor driving BRICS growth is the increasing economic interdependence among its member states. In 2023 alone, trade within BRICS reached a record-breaking $422 billion. This surge was largely fueled by strong economic ties between countries like China and Russia, which traded $190 billion in 2022, a figure that saw a 20% increase in the first half of 2023. This economic relationship has proven essential to BRICS' strategy, bolstering the stability of both countries in the face of external pressures. The Brazil-China economic relationship also deserves mention. Trade between these two nations reached $165.7 billion in 2022, with Brazil exporting soybeans, iron ore, and other valuable commodities, while China supplied technology and consumer products in return. This interdependence reinforces the resilience of BRICS economies and highlights the potential for further economic growth. In 2024, the addition of Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Egypt, Iran and Ethiopia has further enhanced BRICS economic influence. Together, these new members bring the bloc's global GDP share to an impressive 29.3% comma, totaling $30.8 trillion, and represent almost half the world's population. This expanded economic footprint 
underscores BRICS potential to reshape global finance and trade. At its core, BRICS envisions a multipolar world, a world where power is distributed more equally across various nations rather than being concentrated in Western hands. The expansion of BRICS aligns with the aspirations of many nations that feel underrepresented in traditional global governance structures. Other international organizations, such as the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, and the African Union, are also pushing for a system that reflects a broader range of interests and perspectives. BRICS, with its recent growth, exemplifies this shift toward an inclusive world order. The push for de-dollarization within BRICS is a strategic effort to create economic structures that can operate independently of Western financial systems. By promoting alternative payment systems and supporting projects through the NDB, BRICS offers a path for developing nations to engage in global trade and finance without needing to rely on Western institutions. This is a bold move toward empowering countries that have historically been on the periphery of international decision-making. The recent additions to BRICS have brought the bloc closer to this vision. Countries like Saudi Arabia, the UAE and Egypt bring significant resources and economic power to the table, adding weight to BRICS' influence in global affairs. Meanwhile, countries like Iran and Ethiopia represent the bloc's growing appeal in regions such as the Middle East and Africa. As BRICS continues to expand, it is creating a global coalition that champions equitable economic opportunities and challenges the existing power structures. The evolution of BRICS into a larger, more influential coalition reflects a changing world order. The current global landscape, shaped by post-World War II institutions like the IMF and World Bank, may soon have to make room for new players and systems. For BRICS, the goal is not only to offer an alternative to these institutions, but to build a framework where nations have the freedom to choose alliances that suit their unique needs. BRICS is laying the groundwork for a more balanced global economy, one where countries can participate on their terms, free from the constraints that have historically defined international relations. This effort to decentralize power aligns with the desires of many developing countries, which often feel that their interests are overlooked or sidelined. As BRICS advances its financial initiatives and attracts more members, it is building a coalition that supports a future in which economic decisions are made collaboratively, reflecting a diversity of voices. With its expanded membership and growing economic influence, BRICS is well positioned to drive meaningful change in global governance. As countries increasingly look to BRICS for partnerships, the bloc's role in shaping the future of international relations becomes clearer. By promoting policies that reduce dependency on the dollar, supporting infrastructure through the NDB, and encouraging cooperation on vital resources, BRICS offers a powerful alternative to the status quo. In a world increasingly ready for change, BRICS is emerging as a beacon of a new economic order. By challenging the long-standing dominance of the US dollar and creating pathways for nations to trade on their own terms, BRICS is building a system that aligns with the unique goals of its diverse members. This movement isn't just about finance, it's about establishing a global structure that values independence and fairness over central control. With recent expansions, strengthened partnerships and bold financial initiatives, BRICS is driving toward a future where nations can collaborate without constraints imposed by traditional power structures. This evolving coalition reflects a global shift towards multipolarity, a world where economic and political power is shared, not hoarded by a select few. For many countries, Joining BRICS offers not only economic opportunity, but also a renewed sense of agency on the world stage. As BRICS continues to grow, 
its influence is set to redefine international relations and reshape the way the world does business. This is more than just a financial reformation. It's the beginning of a global renaissance, one where the values of mutual respect and shared prosperity take center stage. The journey ahead may be complex, but for those ready to embrace this change, BRICS represents a promising and empowering future. What are your thoughts on BRICS' impact on the global economy? Could it really challenge the dominance of the US dollar? Share your comments below and let's start the conversation. If you made it to the end, thank you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this and a like on the video would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye.